Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, there were about three to four cases that was filed in court to challenge the uh, swearing in of Keture Kendiki as the next deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. And uh, among them, there was one in Kirgoya. A court order was issued stopping the process. We know very well a name was nominated and the National Assembly had a chance to debate on the name. They made a voting on the name. It was overwhelming in terms of the results. So today, Kitura Kendiki was supposed to take an oath of office and quickly assume the duties and responsibilities of the Deputy President. <laughs> We saw preparations going on yesterday, and I shared the videos here, where Moses Kure was at Uhur Gardens, really uh, trying to explain how the swearing in will take place, the preparation of the ground. Everything was set today for the swearing in ceremony. But this plan has been brought to a stop. There will be no swearing in of one Keturi Kendiki in capacity to be the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. Therefore, the legal deputy president as we're speaking today is still Rigadi Shagwa. Keturi Kendiki, bad. Reason this matter should be heard and determined. I think when we have such kind of an impeachment like this one, we should have time limit uh, uh, in terms of kama kuku on a case ya kuskiza, like just a procedure of case. Give it time if it's a week or two, and a decision should be made. Siji kama kuku hiva, na kukua hiva mamba ya kutu oda, sike kwa zina tolewa, nikuwa ni case na skizo, ikisha malizwa, then the swearing in to take place. So Keturek Ndiki is a jobless man. <laughs> but we know how what to work on a mambo ya job. Kindiki, utapata hata kumbe haja resign. Utapata hivo. Ukienda kwa office yako, utapata labda hako tukwa hiyo office. But for him to get this nomination, an exit has been gazetted. It means this man had to resign. Again, people are questioning, when did he become a, a, a member of a political party? Now, when I say my three months, Kabla, which of us come in. So, we are in a constant crisis where people are trying to force things, but the law is not in agreement with them. In as much there was this court orders from yesterday, I saw these guys, now I wanted to listen my kwamba, some orders were passed by events. <laughs> Even me, I said that. We saw Kuria and the team so much determined to execute their plan. Despite the fact that these court orders were already issued, as they talk earlier, as boys, they talk of Friday, when it's the pattern. What has stopped this process? What has stopped the ceremonial uh, event of today of the swearing in of the new deputy president? That's the big question on this pipeline that we want to try uh, and answer. But just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel. Subscribe as a master. Thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much, and back to this discussion. Now, um, the swearing in of Keturek Ndik was supposed to be officiated by a court registrar, official wa court. Muna kumbuka yule mwenye alukua na swear in kashagwa, akirudia kiki. Uyo. 
But again, it was supposed to be witnessed by CJ. Lazima ikuwe witnessed by CJ. Sasa tukifika hapo, I think you can now get the picture. In Ruto's view and wish is that Kitale Kindiki must take office today. But there is someone who has stopped William Ruto. It is not only the court order. There is also another person. The main reason here, because the arrangement was already put in place. It is none other than CJ. There is a possibility that CJ Mother Kome has refused the invitation to swear in Kitire Kendiki. And if her presence is not there, there is no way Kitire Kendiki atakula bebeya. How is so the person who has halted this plan is CJ Mother Kome who has refused to disown a court order. She has refused to break the law. Instead, she is here to promote and respect the law. Court order, Nigeria. So the person who has halted this plan is CJ Mother Kome, not Ruto. Not that they are obeying court orders, no. How what tunawajua? How watu wana heshima na court order? They would have proceeded. As long as CJ would have decided to join them, wanajisi a constitution ya Kenya, hii mambo ingefanyika. Lakini CJ amekataa mimi sita kusanyika na nyinyi kufanya kitendo cha kunajisi sheria ya Kenya. Haitakubalika. I think that is what has stopped this plan. These people have a way of doing things. Say like that when you stand on their way, they will watapita na wewe. How and what watapita na wewe kisimama on their way? Kwa kiasi kwamba you find that some judges when they make some rulings kuna phrase wanatumia ya kwamba inama ipite. <laughs> Zile kuna unasikia ukisikia marisasi zikirusha wewe unarana chini. So wanasema tu kuna mambo mengine yakikuja unafunga macho una inama chini inapita. Yaani kuvunja sheria. CJ has refused. And you know I can tell you with this court order Mother Kome was between a rock and a hard place to make a decision either to please William Ruto or stand with the law. She has decided that she's not going to go in bed with the executive to please them. Instead, she will stand with the constitution. Remember, CJ is the president of the court. Ile mahakama ambayo ilipeana hii court order, iko chini ya uongozi wa mother kome. So, it was upon Mother Kome kudalalisha mahakama ama kusimama na mahakama. That is what has stopped this plan. But how watu kwa mawaza yao, kwa kiburi chao na akili yao, mpango wao mzima ilikuwa kwamba gashagwa should be shown doors today, kithira kidiki should be the deputy president, walituambia ikifika siku ya mashudade Kitule kindiki ndi atakuwa kama deputy president ikaribisha president kutoa utuba. That has been stopped. So there was no any other way. These people were ready to break the law. I saw the confident in Moses Kuria advisor to the president. They were already made a decision. 
The only problem they had is how to convince the CJ to come and officiate this process. She has refused. I don't know your views, but let us put in the comment section to continue with this discussion. Thank you so much and see you in our next video.